In this video, we are going to learn complete steps how we can upgrade Oracle 11G to 19C using the Armen backup. This is my environment which is currently running on Oracle 11G. So for the testing purpose, I am going to create a testing user which is name is Shri and grant some privileges then create a table inside the Shri user. Let me do it quickly. I have created a table with the name is OCP and inserted some records in this table you can see on the screen. Make sure your database is running in archaeolog mode. Okay, my database is now running in archaeolog mode. Check the database registry and keep it on notepad for verification after upgradation. Now it's time to take a full database backup using the RMAN. Before creating RMAN backup, let me create a backup location first. Let me take a full database backup using the following script. Great. My RMAN backup has been completed now. Let me log in in the database and create a P file from the SD file. Perfect. Okay. Our task on the Oracle 11G machine is completed. Now copy all the backup files with the P file from 11G machine to 19C machine. Action on the 19C machine. First of all, you have to install the 19C software only. If you don't know how we can install the Oracle 19C software, you can get the video in the I button. Go and watch. So now just edit the P file and change the compatible parameter from 11G to 19C and create the appropriate directories. Okay, let me do it quickly. Now just set the environment parameter for the Oracle landing C like Oracle Home, Oracle Base and Oracle SID etc. I have done it all that. Login into the 19C database and start the database till no amount stays using the P file. Perfect. Now create a SE file using the P file and bounce the database. Now we need to connect with the RMAN prompt and restore the control file. Let me do it quickly. I have successfully restored the control file. Once the control file is restored, make your database till mount stage. Let me do it. Perfect. We need to catalog the backup location here. Type yes. Perfect. Now my backup location is connected with the RMAN. Now it's time to recover the database. To recover this database, you can use these following commands. Okay, done. Recovery is completed. Now let's open the database with the upgrade option. First action is that we need to check the db recovery file dust location size. What is the size of db recovery file dust? In my current scenario, the recovery file size is 8 GB. But if your database size is more than 300, 400, 500, you must set recovery file dust size should be greater than 100 or 200 GB. And during the upgradation, you should monitor the FRA utilization. Otherwise, you will face the issue. So in my case, my database size is very small. So let me set it 12 GB. Okay, now this time to execute the cat upgrade script from the SQL prompt. Actually, cat upgrade utility is not supported to run from the SQL prompt. You can see the message directly here. Suppose I'm just going to execute it and you can see the message is here. The cat upgrade utility is not supported from the SQL prompt, we need to execute the cat upgrade command from the dollar prompt with catctl.pl script also. Okay, so let me do it quickly. It will take time, so you have to patience. Till then, you can monitor the upgradation log as well as monitor the alert log file. Okay.
let me fast forward the video done in my case my upgradation is completed now login into the database and start it normally check the dba registry again this time you can see all the process is in the upgraded now it's time to run the util rp to compile the invalid objects once it is finished open the database normally and you can use it so guys i hope you really learned something from this video if yes please like the video and write your feeling in the comment box and if you are new on my youtube channel please do subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye